Nick, welcome oh, this place is ready to for the Steven that. Universe. Is welcome we to are? the Steven Universe. I mean, this is exciting. his name is Steven Universe, and this mm -hmm. is Attack the Light Steven Universe RPG from Grumpy Face Games and the Cartoon Network. So, all right, right off the bat, you yes. telling me that there is a because I'm a big, I'm like a, a sort of growing Steven Universe fan. I'm sure. about two thirds of the way through wow. season one right now. Excellent. But if you had told me that there was an iOS Steven Universe game, my assumptions would be free to play, probably an endless runner and probably not worth talking about. Is this any of those things? This is none of those things. Yes. Yeah, Sign this, me is, up. this is really exciting. So as you can kind of see here, this is basically like a light Mario RPG or, mm. uh, uh, you know, sort of in that vein. So it's basically an action RPG. You're going around little dungeons and you are going into turn-based battles that you actually have a timer and you have to sort of press the, you know, you just tap the screen at the right time. Here I'll probably go into an attack uh, and you can see Right, you know, I'm trying to get rid of these little monsters. These are light monsters that Steven accidentally unleashed into the world, basically. Mm -hmm. The plot is pure Steven Universe. A little, little goofy, a little fun, uh, that sort of thing. So here's Garnet. Oh, there we I'm go. using my gauntlets and I'm attacking a person. Now, I didn't quite get the timing right on that But I'm, I am seeing the, the Paper Mario comparison here. Yes, and it's the same thing with defense here. I was too late, you know, it'll tell you if it's kind of perfect timing. Right there, I had great timing on that one, so mm. I was able to sort of defend myself and take less damage. So these, these stars in the upper left corner here, are those sort of like action points? Yes, basically they are. I mean, they're called like star points, I think, but it's exactly action points. You have hit points, so in the, the whole top of my uh, sort of uh, UI here, there's Steven on the left, there's Garnet right there, she just didn't attack, Pearl in the middle, and then Amethyst all the way on the right. Uh, they all have their own hit points, um, and they have their XP, everybody's leveling up as you're kind of going through battles, that sort of mm -hmm. thing. Um, and right there, Nito Burrito, I had a perfect uh, perfect timing on my attack there. Well so done. I was able to, uh, yep, Nito Burrito. I love, it's very Steven Universe, everything about this. Totally. Is, uh, <laughs> Actually, one thing, the one thing that I, I watched the trailer for this, like, I think a week or so ago, and the one thing that stood out to me as not being Steven Universe is, it seemed like they kind of clearly got a voice double for Steven, at least. I don't know about yeah, the rest of the characters. I think is, they may have. <laughs> they how much voice work close. is there in here? Like, how, how big of a detriment is that? Is it, is, does it matter at all, or no? So far, it's only really been little clips, like, here we go, or, you know, Nito Burrito, things like that. Sure. Um, otherwise, as you'll see in a minute, I cut ahead a tiny bit here. Um, there's a lot of dialogue, but it's actually not voiceover. It's just kind of dialogue on the screen. And the writing itself is very Steven Universe. Uh, Rebecca Sugar, the creator of the show and one of the main writers on the show, this is her work. So, oh, she wrote this? Yeah, she wrote that... it. Where it's her and sort of the team, the way they, they talk about it. So it's definitely like actually from the folks who make the show. Which that is, is awesome. Always yeah, nice. like throw that on the pile of things that make this a very surprising adaptation of a Cartoon Network show on a mobile device. Absolutely. Like, this is like a $3 game that is, you know, surprisingly deep and, and interesting. So here we have a little ambush battle. Uh, this is a little bit later on. I skipped ahead a tiny, tiny bit here just to show that uh, there's actually some strategy involved. Uh, I'm going to use Garnet's um, Shield Breaker attack here. That's sort of her little lower attack mm -hmm. uh, in order to lower that enemy's defense. Oh, got it perfect nice. right there. Nailed yeah, it. very proud of myself, you know. Gotta be proud. So now his defense is lowered, and he, uh, if he had a shield, it's, it's kind of broken and less effective. So uh, it really helps to kind of use Garnet as the, uh, as the big bruiser. Uh, Pearl is kind of the uh, light attack uh, sort of person, and mm -hmm. like Amethyst, sort of cheap who's cost the, spells, so he has, exactly right only one only one point there. And Amethyst has her whip attack, which actually attacks uh, a ton of enemies at the same time. And Steven, true to uh, the show, is kind of a support character. He's like he's there for healing. He's there for uh, you know eating star fruits, which give more uh, star points things like that. So it actually is perfectly uh, in tune with the way the show works and yeah, sort of like, the way the characters work together. If you had forced me to classify the main cast of Steven Universe into like RPG roles, that's pretty much exactly how I would have done it. Yes, oh. <laughs> exactly. And like these, these animations are pretty adorable. It's kind of like little chibi versions of all four characters. It and is. like It's very cute. Pearl's doing her acrobatics as usual and everything. Like it's all very on brand, I it, guess. It is perfect. Universe. And the little voice clips are, are really kind of perfect too. It's, it's exactly what they would say. You know, Amethyst is kind of like, let's hope it's here for our bad selves. You know, like let's hope everything's good. It's 
very cute. It's exactly what Amethyst would say. You know, Amethyst is kind of like the little punk one. Garnet's kind of the, the reserved leader, and Pearl is mm -hmm. kind of the worry wart, and it would all you... kind of shows up here, too. There's a thought that I haven't been able to let go of while watching this show. Do you think Amethyst is kind of the the Wario oh, of Steven absolutely. Universe? Oh, absolutely. Yes, like, she is. I think that's the best point of reference for maybe people who haven't played Steven Universe, is she yes. is the Wario of the group. She's absolutely the Wario of the group. Um, and she is really funny. She's kind of my favorite, although I kind of love them all, you know. Mm -hmm. So here's another little mechanic. Uh, you get to make decisions in the game through dialogue choices, uh, whether we want to hit this statue or whether we want to just leave it alone, basically. Huh. Okay. And uh, right here I say, yeah, let's let's give it a little tap. So Amethyst got XP for that because I went with her decision, oh, basically. Wow. That's almost like Bioware levels of a little bit, them remembering yeah. your decision. A little bit. It's, it's kind of cool because it, it sort of goes into, let's level up this character if you want this kind of play style, basically. Mm. Like, if you want to be the... You know the mischievous one, like Amethyst. That'll that'll help and be a sort of a boon to her, which is kind of nice. I dig that. So Another, a, a, okay, a pretty ahead. major thing in in Steven Universe is the fact that sometimes they will the gems will not to spoil anything, but they'll combine. Yes. Into new characters. Have you seen anything like that in here yet, or not? Not yet. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty early in here. You know, this is only. I, uh, playing here for like you know 10 15 minutes or whatever uh, but you know, i don't know maybe within the first hour of the game so still really early on and i have to say as a huge steven universe fan i think this show is amazing uh personally this really sort of captures the flavor of the show pretty That's, well that is huge praise i think yeah i think so and uh, we still like, leveling up a little bit and here i found a badge which is actually sort of like a permanent uh it's almost the way that stamps worked in Costume Quest. You know, you're okay. sort of adding... And again, this is sort of by gem. So by character, I can decide to uh, give somebody some extra buffs, basically. Uh, I, You know what? I'm sold. I'm downloading this tonight. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I think you should. Well, this has been um, Attack the Light, Steven Universe RPG. And thank you, Nick, for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me.